Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with another video for the TechX Coding History Series. And this is actually not a, a program that was coded by me. Um, I don't remember who programmed this. I found it on MPGH a while back and it was uh, open source. It is a Minecraft uh, external tool for um, PvP that uh, was missing one very important um, piece of... Uh, you know, code that I don't believe the original creator of the tool ever added. So basically what it is, is a, it's a window title. It was missing, you know, manual window title instead of looking for, you know, uh, any window title that you can put there. So for example, I used to use a WWE client, which is now inertia utility mod um the window title for that isn't minecraft it's uh inertia utility mod i believe or something like that uh so basically i couldn't use it with any modded clients because it didn't have the ability to know to look for a modded client even though minecraft was running because it runs off of detecting a window title so what you ha what i had to do was i went in and First of all, I added the window title and window title text box here so you could actually type into it. And then in the main and then I had to go through the code and find um you know, where it was that it looks for the window title. And it's in the minecraft.cs file, which is simple, very simple. I enjoy. And what it does is it actually does it has a find minecraft function. So it looks at the running processes and looks for Java W because that's the running process name for Minecraft. And, or at least it should be. Um, I believe some modded clients do have the ability to change that. So maybe we'll change this in the future. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So what it does is it looks at the processes with that exe name and then it checks the process for the window title. And I wanted to actually change up this code today in this video to work better for finding the window title because this is too much code for finding a window title. It doesn't need to be fm.text underscore mc title dot text equals this to know that it's Minecraft. That doesn't need to be. So what we actually have to do is, or what we can actually do is we just remove the if statement completely. We get rid of these two. And then we can actually just get rid of all of this right here. And we need to get rid of one of these. Because it's actually, there's one too many right now. And then what we also have to do is move everything back one. So it actually makes sense. I know there's a keyboard shortcut to do this. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. But uh, as you can tell, this is the easy way to do it, is just do it by hand. Oh, uh, no, nope. There we go. Easy, right? <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, now it's always going to look for whatever text is in this text box. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that it's always at least Minecraft. Because if it's nothing, then there's going to be a problem. So what we need to do is just leave it as Minecraft. And what we can do is actually, this is it really. Um, that's actually all you need. Uh, so what we could do, if we wanted to play it a little safer and have like a security check, we could add an if statement back. So we could have if um, title.contains what the f Hold on. I forgot I got to do it here. If title.contains or no, not that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um fm.text.text .text, um equals nothing. And what we do is we add this 
And yes, we are technically adding if statements back, making the code long again, but there is a good reason for this. Dot message box dot show. Please enter enter the window title of your Minecraft game. And then what we can do is close that and we go else. Uh, actually here, I'm gonna clean that up because I don't like doing else's like that. There we go. And now we have an else. And that's actually all we really need. Before was just too much code. There was no point in the amount of code that there was. But as of right now, this will actually run because it knows that Minecraft is at least going to be there. So we can run it and it will start up as my. What? What does that even mean? Hold on a minute. Okay, I think I fixed it. It was a really stupid thing. What? I put it... Oh, my God. Hold on. There we go. Now it's working. So, as you can see now, um, we can put whatever we want in here. And then, as soon as we go to toggle it on, which eventually I'm going to add hotkeys for, you can actually control everything right here. That's your clicks per second. It'll tell you your average and uh, stuff like that. And you can actually control it entirely, which is really nice. You can even have it block and do random CPS drops so you're not detected. Or even just self-destruct, which I will add hotkeys for all that in the future. But it's a very nice little tool. And if anybody wants this tool, I don't think it's available on MPGH anymore. Um, if it is, you know, full credits to the guy. I didn't look. I probably should have. But I can actually go in and, you know, obviously make this work. Um... But I want to make it work with hotkeys before anything because I don't think he did do that at least. Um, I want to go in and make it work with hotkeys because then it's far easier to use. If like your mouse is in use and being emulated, you don't have use of your mouse to come back over here and click toggle off. So it's definitely a an, a need for a tool like this to add hotkeys. So that'll probably be a future video for this tool. If you want to see me release this um, with some more info as well as like how to do these progress bars and, uh, you know, what each progress bar actually does, um, let me know in the comments down below. This is a cool little tool. I think it would be very easy to add on to this to do even like auto fishing and stuff like that. There are many things this tool could do. And I think there's a lot of potential here for it. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more from this tool, if you want to see it expanded into something else because the original creator isn't uh, contributing to it anymore. And we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Let me double check real quick. I'm going to look at Minecraft section real quick. Real quick. My internet's not being quick. Volatile, volatile, volatile. There's the auto clicker. So here we go. So um, it was made by El Forendrum. So Landrum maybe is what the four is supposed to be an A. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing here anymore. Yeah, there hasn't been an update for it in a while. Huh. That's really weird. So one guy on the thread was saying that it didn't work for him because Minecraft for him was running as an exe called launcher.exe. So I'm guessing, again, he's playing a different, you know, he's playing a whole different client. Um... And that's why it's not going to work for him. Uh, we would have to actually add in probably a second window or a second text box here. So he could put, you know, the process name instead. Most people, the process name is going to be Java W. It doesn't really matter. If you're playing 
Java edition of Minecraft is going to be Java W. We can change this at a later date if we need to. Um, we can also we can always do uh, something like Java W or uh, where is it? Launcher. I think that's how you do or, isn't it? I don't think we can do this uh, this way. So we'd have to do... Set it probably as an array. Yeah, set it as an array. Or just a text box, like I said, if you know what the process name is. Um, again, very easy to add to this. We would just go into here, expand this again. And what we would do is a label. I'm just going to copy this. And we'd put it, you know, in line with that and a text box, obviously. You know what? Why not? Let's just do it now. We're doing it live. So line it up here. There we go. Have this line up properly. There we go. And this would be process name. And this would be um, text underscore process. And the default would be Java W. So now we would go back into the code. And this is how easy it was to add the window title thing. It's the same thing. So you want to do... Um, You'd want to do fm dot text. Come on. Fm dot text mc title or text uh uh crap 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 crap. What did I name it? I already forgot. Hold on a minute. So I figured it out. I had an idiot moment because I forgot about a certain thing. You'd have to change the modifier to uh, public so it can be seen anywhere in the code when you access the form. And then the other thing I had to do that was kind of an idiot thing is I forgot that C Sharp works in a linear way. So this has to be before here if I want it to uh, basically see any sort of text. So I'd have to do title or not title, I'd have to do fm dot text process name dot text. And there we go. That easy. But again, we'd also have to add the if statement now. If fm dot text process name text equals blank. Uh, message box dot show. Please enter, enter a process name for your Minecraft client. And then we hit close, else. Push that out and then close. And this has to be two equals. That's my bad. Huh. So actually, all of this needs to be inside that. So I have to put that all the way down here. There we go. Yeah, that should work. No. Oh. Uh, now it's fine. I was just putting brackets in the wrong place. I do it all the time. I love the smell of people mowing the grass. Anyway, so it's kind of that easy to get this working. Uh, again, you know, we just had to add a check for that. 
and now it should run just fine. So Minecraft's process is almost always Java W, um, unless you have like a strange modified client. But as you can see, uh, we added onto it so you can select a whatever process you want and whatever window title. So, and something I'm going to do now actually is a credits section. So we're gonna do credits. And we're gonna make this smaller because it's a little big. We're gonna do eight. And then we need uh, tech X. And we need one more for the original creator. I don't feel like figuring out all the font names and stuff like that and doing that every time I have to mess with this. So it was, uh, crap. This ended up being longer than I thought, but that's okay. It's a fun little video, and it's a cool little tool, and if you guys want more updates for it, let me know. I am so down for adding to this tool. L4 and drum. Original. Creation. Released on MPGH. There we go. And that's all it takes to add credits. And, you know, it's all, you should always credit original creators if you are modifying their open source. Um, because, obviously, I didn't create this original tool. I don't even know how to do custom themes like this. I wish I did. Uh, it's, it's a cool tool. It definitely deserves, you know, some updates and uh, to keep it working with newer Minecraft versions and things like that because it's very useful. So if you guys have any questions, any suggestions for things to add to this, uh, leave them in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys at a later date. Peace out.